no more talking about it The way it is, the way it is It's no mystery There's no getting around it When you're here, when you're here We got chemistry We light up when we ignite We are stars in a darkened sky When you leave Don't forget to remember Don't forget to remember me When you start work I'm just about to make myself a coffee there's the coffee machine cleaning itself um, and hopefully we can get a bit done today I need to get really organized I also need to do some sketches and design some gowns so maybe you guys would like to come along and have a look at what I do right I'm still experimenting with what type of videos you guys like so um, I'm kind of trying different things and seeing what gets a response and what doesn't. Some of you 
you can see, but there is a little floaty. Just there. I'm going to have to take it out and see what it is. Um, okay. The good news is it's not a bug. At least it's not a bug. If it was a bug, I'd have to do the whole thing again. But I think it's actually a bit of coffee. Um, either from the pod that I'd put in or from the pod before. I don't eat sugar. I have Stevia. This is my favourite Stevia brand. Natvia. What I love more than Natvia is the Natvia. Hello, Coco. We're dog sitting at the moment. Hello. And well, guys, this is me today. Um, you're seeing a different view because I normally have this blind open, but in the mornings, the sun is so blinding that I can't work with it open. So I have to wait till about 12 o'clock lunchtime um, and then I can open the blinds. So my desk is looking quite clean, but the problem lies behind me. See all of the boxes. I've still got remnants of Easter gifts. I've got my new modem sitting there. Um, new fabric swatches here. I've got my client gift bags here. So I actually need some storage solutions. So I'm thinking about going to Ikea and fixing this issue because I have so many um, little bags of stuff. You know, I've got my gift pens that I give all my brides. I've got my um, bags, my gift bags that they're sort of come pre-packaged. Um, I've got a whole bunch of other things as well as some uh, little bracelets and cute little gifts like that. But I need to organize it because I need to have it out all the time because I'm constantly sort of packing them. Um, I might do it three times a week. I might do it once a week, but I'm constantly going there. So I need sort of a packing station, if that makes sense. But I don't want it to look messy, which it's looking at the moment. So I'm going to go to Ikea and get some um, organizational boxes. And I've already had a look on their website and I can definitely um, get what I'm looking for, I think. But I think I need boxes to go in boxes as well, sort of like to organize um, all the little bits and pieces and all the trinkets. So I'll be doing that today as well as possibly doing some designing. So if you didn't know, the first thing I do in the mornings when I'm having my cup of coffee is I watch some YouTube videos. And I am obsessed with a couple of YouTubers at the moment. Well, one in particular that I've been obsessed with for about three years. So every time I get a moment, like having a cup of coffee, I watch one of her videos. And who I'm talking about is Lydia Elise Millen. There she is there. Um, and I just can't get enough of her vlogs. She's, um, I don't know, she just has a beautiful house and I mean I was still watching her when she was living in her two-bedroom little flat um, but I just find her vlogs super interesting and I just find them really friendly and I just really enjoy watching them so um, I do try and squeeze in a little bit of YouTube time um, for a little bit of research but also for leisure and when I'm sipping on my cup of coffee in the morning before I start my day I watch uh, a little bit of her video She's just had a birthday. Happy birthday to you, Lydia. Um, and he's talking about that on her channel. So my favorite time of the day, coffee with Lydia. Okay, so I'm starting off with my template, which you guys know I like to do. Um, and I'm really working with some stretch fabrics at the moment that are like bridal stretch fabrics. So I want to try and incorporate some of these pieces into my new collection. So um, I've got a bit of an idea of what I'm sort of wanting. Something like that. I don't know if you can see that properly. Sort of like an angled strap in the shoulder, the bodice, and it actually has underwire. Now I need to sort of work on constructually how this will work in this bodice and how the fabric will sit because I have in my mind what I want but I need to be able to communicate that 
in my sketch so that the factory get my design right. Right, we're going to do some designing. I just need to do a few little sketches um, of some stretch gowns that I'm interested in making. Don't mind me twisting the screen. I do this all the time. a few little sketches and now it's time for me to clean up this mess behind me because it is driving me nuts so let's hop in the car and get some stuff so we can do this So this is the one that I'm going to use for my gift bags. It's got a lid to keep it nice and tidy around my desk. And then I'm going to get some little boxes and I'm going to find them as well. Okay, I've gathered my purchases. I'm going to get a big one of these with a lid. I'm going to get four of these for my Billy bookcase in my bedroom with four lids. And I'm going to get four of the smaller size, which I could sort of stack like that. Um, next to those ones and they look like this they're really good quality containers um, and I think they'll be great on my bookshelf just gonna tidy up the space a little bit oh my god I cannot believe how real these look like seriously they look so real they're so real I want to get some I'm gonna get some so I'm going to get, oh, there's like a branch of them, okay, like seriously, I'm going to buy two of these, here we go, these two, I also picked up this little guy, because I thought he looked so real, and I thought it would be super cute, super cute on my desk. I bought this and I also bought this little thing, this little pot to put it in. I thought it was super cute. Right, that, it got really hot and I had to take off my jacket. 
So I think I've got all the containers that I need. I'm just gonna go grab a quick bite to eat because I am starving before we head home. I built up walls like mansions to the sky. Protect my heart so it would survive. But you climbed in like no one else could do. So we are back and here is one of the problem areas in my home. I did show you a bit um, earlier. So basically I just want to clear this space up and I've also got a shelf in the bedroom which I'll show you as well that I'm going to clear. But let's tackle this space first because I think it's going to be a really easy fix with a couple of containers. The day I knew So I've got little gifts, like little necklaces and um, charm bracelets and things like that that I have ordered that I give to clients. So I do want to get some nicer containers for this box, but for now this will have to do. So that's the same as this box. I've got heaps of little necklaces, um, little gift boxes for the necklaces and gifts that I send out. I've got my gift bags. So these are really nice gift bags. I think there's about a stack of 10 in there. I need to order some more. So this is them. And I looked for so long to get ones like this because I needed ones that are small, um, cute, but really nice quality with thick handles. Um, and you can see how wide they are so I can fit lots of little goodies in there. So I love to give people a little gift bag. And then I also, in the gift bags, put, um, basically I have, these are a constant, which are my pens, which have like a, um, a crystal end. So there's um, the crystal on the end. And then, so it looks like a bit of a diamond on the end. That's got my logo. It's just a, a twist turn pen. Um, so, yeah. So that's what these are, and they come in a little nice, um, plastic container. I, you saved me. Change my direction. I'm so and then I always put in some lint balls, lint ball chocolates, because they're my favourites and I love lint and I love lint balls. And this one had um, strawberries and cream in it, and hazelnut and white chocolate, which I thought would be perfect as a little bit of a bridal um, gift. Not that you'd want to be packing on chocolates, but they're nice, they're cute, they're beautiful chocolates. So I pack some of those as well. And sometimes I um, put in brochures um, that I think are beneficial to my clients or their friends. So these brochures that I've got are from Hale Day Spa. And I've been there a few times and it is absolutely beautiful. It's such a great place to go and hang out, go and chill out, maybe have a hen's day um, there. It's just um, such a beautiful venue. So I provide a couple of those um, brochures. Now I am not paid by them or anything like that to talk about this. I just love the product. And whenever I find a product that I love or a service that I love, I try and tell everyone else about it. So got a couple of their brochures. I also put one of my brochures in the pack as well just because sometimes I come across um, friends of the bride that don't really know who I am or haven't really heard of me before so I make sure I give a brochure to myself as well so that they can track me down if they want to know who actually designed their friend's dress. One messy spot done. Now let's check out the other messy spot because I think this will also be an easy fix. So here is the second problem area, this shelf in the middle. Um, now I will not be cleaning the bags on this shelf, so that shelf is just going to stay as is. Um, but it's just all this situation. I've got these uh, boxes here that kind of kick out so they never sit flush. I've got things bulging out the top of them. I've got bags that are just stacked one on top of the other, ones that I hardly use. I've got some knits here. I've got all these other stuff like it's just shoved on shelves and same with the top and I just hate looking at it. So I'm going to try and fix this space with a couple of containers and we'll see how we go. 
I recently put in this bookshelf um, yesterday, the day before, for all my son's books. So uh, his books were pretty much all on the floor over here and I just couldn't stand it anymore. So I got a bookshelf that fit in this space and I actually just put all his um, books in there. So there's still even a couple of bits of room and you know I put his shoes at the bottom but they could go somewhere else later so he's got some room to grow which is great um, so I don't need to tackle that I do need to tackle this and then if I have time today which I don't think I will I also need to tackle this and I have to organize something with this because pretty much all that stuff I don't use anymore but it has to go somewhere so let's do this middle shelf first I just want to basically see it in see it to be like a white shelf and I think it looks really cluttered because it's all open and nothing's hidden away. So I think it's important that I hide some stuff away. I don't think I can do anything with the bags on the top. I think I just have to leave them there for now. But hopefully I'll be able to organize all of these shelves in between. Here we are, starting. Just gonna dump everything on the bed. So you can see so I bought this it's like a pool drawer for my earrings um, and really cute idea and it's double-sided and there's two drawers so you can fit quite a lot of earrings but I have to be honest because I don't have a dressing table or anything it's just quite awkward on my shelf um, and it's awkward to take out the earrings and put them in again so I don't use it as much as I probably should. I want the world to stage. Welcome to the show. I glance at you, you smile at me like we're all alone. We dance around it, but we'll never let each other know. It's an illusion. Let the games begin. Step into the ring as I juggle all my feelings for you. Don't miss all the action, cause the main attraction is no you feel the same way too It's like we're on a tightrope It's like we're on a tiptoe fashion in the air We're balancing together Slowly stepping towards each other Oh, so unaware is not done I didn't realize that I would need more boxes Whew. so I'm gonna need some more boxes for this shelf so I'm gonna get another four of these I'll also need some more on that shelf so maybe another two as well as maybe the bottom I'm still a little bit unsure as to what I'm gonna do on the bottom but um, I think the white boxes are gonna make a big difference uh, I would like to sort of put everything in boxes if I can, but I need to label them because I will get really confused as to what's in what box. So I'll have to get some labels as well. Well, that's a bit of a letdown. Um, I thought I was going to be able to complete that whole shelf and remake it brand new, but I didn't realize I'd need so many boxes. Um, I didn't want to get too many and then have to return some. But I obviously didn't get enough for the shelf. I want the shelf to be quite white. And yes, you can sort of see there. there's a lot of empty spaces. And there's also this big box. And basically that's all my swimmers are in there. Um, but basically I'll show you what is in the boxes now. In these boxes I've got all my scarves. So um, 
these are my light scarves and then underneath is knitted scarves which you can probably see a little bit of um, and then I've got more nicer pashmina type scarves in this one and these are all my fluffy sort of beanies and things like that in there um, up the top here I've actually got a few different things and I really do need a label maker this is hard doing this one handed this has got all of my travel sort of stuff so this is my um, backpack travel backpack that goes really small and zips up like this so it's really handy to put in your luggage I've got some um, shopping bag clips and also some separators um, that I use for luggage as well so that's all in that one and then in this one, I've just got um, some wallets that I don't use anymore. Sometimes I reach for, um, I bought this one in Greece. It was cheap, but um, it feels like real leather. And I just find that the cards are really tight in it. And when cards are too tight or they're sticking or there's glue on the binding, I just don't end up using the wallet because it's just not, very user friendly um, yes so I also have this beautiful Minko wallet look at how dusty it is um, that was sitting on the shelf this whole time but I love it but it's so chunky like for me um, I really like tiny tiny wallets but yeah I love the style I love that it's a strange size um, it kind of just opens, which way does it open? This way? This way. So there's a coin section in there and if I open it here, there's like your card section. So it's a massive wallet. Uh, it's also very heavy because of the hardware. So I tend not to use it because a lot of my bags are really small. But I don't want to throw it out, so hence why it is going in this little container full of wallets this one so I recently bought this from Colette not realizing that it would be so bulky um, it looks tiny on camera and it is but compared to my skinny card holders um, it's just a little bit big for me unfortunately I'm just gonna move this around a little bit so that I can try and fit everything so that's that one this one is just nail polishes. Um, I should really throw this out because I don't paint my nails anymore and I only do SNS. So, but I'm just holding on to it because sometimes I get little girls over or something and they want to paint their nails. So I keep them. And then this one has got all my hat sort of headband type things. And I've got some beautiful turbans. Uh, this is a grey headband. This is a red turban. I've worn this quite a bit. Orange one, I wore that in Greece. I've got some knitted bands there. Um, so, yeah, this is sort of just what's happening in these tiny boxes. Hopefully, in a, maybe in a couple of days, I can get back to Ikea and get some more of these boxes. Um, absolutely loving them, though. I think... Overall, they make the space really clean, and now I just have this, which I've tried to be as tidy as possible, but when you just got heaps of stuff and heaps of clutter, it just, I feel like sometimes I need to just get rid of it all, you know? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and I hope to see you in my next one. Let me know if you liked these sort of organizational videos. Um, I can definitely do more of them if you would like them or some more sketch videos, just let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.